J.D. Martinez, home run aside, what stood out to you about the way Paxton was throwing the ball? Um, Stuff-wise, I thought he was really good again. I thought the conviction was, again, really good, even coming off a of last game where I thought it was real strong. Um, we saw the curveball play more of a factor today as, as just a change of pace for him. Um, I thought he did a good job of mixing his three pitches, and uh, he went out there and was, was really strong. Knowing the stretch you're in, knowing you have the doubleheader tomorrow for him to be able to give you innings today and start this off like that, how big is that for the team? Yeah, no question. I mean, you know, we kind of settled down a little bit here, obviously, in the rotation the last several days um, after that stretch. So just it's good to see another guy go out there and really – uh, pitch aggressively, pitch like you know they're capable of, and and Pax absolutely set the tone for us. He had really had some struggles over his last six starts. Did you feel like he needed an outing like this just to kind of restore some confidence? <laughs> A little bit, but you know, I mean, I, I, honestly, I've been really confident in him, and even coming off a of last start you know I mean I, I thought we saw so many good things I thought he came out really aggressive he just got bit by a really good team when he made a mistake so um, I feel like his his focus and his intent but to go out and get some results and get deep into a game and get us a win um, hopefully is something that's that's good for him moving forward Kenny Aaron, did you feel like there was any special meeting with the first game after the deadline that this is your roster now, the rest of the way, essentially? Yeah. Um, not really, honestly. Um, you know, our guys, like our guys are ready to go. They love playing with each other. They're confident. We know we're up against a good team. It's Boston. It's the weekend. Um, it's it's easy to be ready for that. And, and uh, I thought we went out and played a clean game. George, to the right. Aaron, your lead's 11 and a half. Is that hard to ignore? Um, I think Tampa's closer than that, aren't they? Over, over the oh. oh um, look, we're just trying to rack up wins right now. Um, you know, there's still a couple months to go in this thing, and any time you can rack up a win, especially on, obviously against a division opponent that is as capable as the Red Sox are, um, you, you you enjoy those a little more, frankly. Brian, what does it say about Paxton that he had fewer strikeouts tonight than he did in his last start? <clears throat> Not much, other than you know Boston's some. T can typically be a tough team to strike out, you know, and, and he had all those strikeouts, I think, in the first two innings. So um, stuff-wise, he's always capable of running out there and running a high high strikeout number, but when you're up against a team like the Red Sox, they're a team that generally does a good job of putting the ball in play, and, um, you know, fortunately they didn't put it in play hard enough, often enough. Laura. Labor at the Grand Slam, he has just such good stats with runners in scoring position with the bases loaded. Uh, how impressive is it to be, have that amount of poise at the age that he, that he is? Yeah, I mean, that's who he's been since he got here. I mean, it's a guy that plays the game with a lot of confidence, understandably so. He's really talented, but, um, you know, I, I continue to be proud of him for the continued strides he makes in the little parts of the game that he continues to get better at and... Uh, you know, he, he's he's a guy you want up in that situation. He he likes being in that spot. He's able to really lock in and focus. And, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a big swing tonight for us. Over to the left. So with Paxton in the, the first innings, he had trouble just getting a, a zero thrown up there. I'm just curious what you make of that, especially the night he started with the two strikeouts and then got hit by the home run. Just where you think he is with that? Yeah, it's a little fluky because, again, I mean, I thought he – threw the snot out of the ball in the first inning. I mean, you know, he, he missed on, with a slider instead of, you know, a foul ball or a hard out or a base hit. It's a homer. So it's like, oh, here comes the story again. But if you're watching the game, I mean, you know, I thought he, I thought he threw the ball great. I, again, I thought he came out. Um, I thought stuff right from the, from the get-go was good. Um, you know, they just happened to – Hit a mistake over the fence, you know, crazy. Coley to the, to the right. 
Uh, with a knife like Geraldus just had, uh, hadn't had one of those in a while, what can that do for him moving forward? Um, yeah, it was good to see, no question. Uh, for him to come out and, you know, pound the zone a little bit, um, you know, and then able to, you know, with, with Benintendi there, he falls behind him 3-1 and, and gets back into the count and then finishes him with a really good 3-2 slider that freezes him. Um, you know, it was good for Chappie. You know, I, I think he's, you know, obviously been a little up and down lately just, f you know, with his command and finding the zone and for him to come in and really fill it up tonight. Um, yeah, hopefully is something that, that's good for him and settles him in and kind of gets him rolling again. Showing you something with the way they they kind of took the punch last weekend in, in Boston with, I guess, I think three out of four now. Right. Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but you're right. I'm not surprised. I mean, I, I have so much faith in that group. Um, they really do a good job of coming in ready to go what, no matter what happened, and, and they're not really that affected by a bad night or a bad couple days or, or for that matter, a great couple of nights they they expect they expect to go out and win and they know they're good and um and there's a lot of comfort in that when you come to the field knowing you can really play